Hey guys, welcome back to the journey to open a frown felt. This is episode 10. I'm sorry it's been so long. I'm actually up here in my attic right now in Switzerland, Schaffhausen. I know you're probably wondering how I got here. Well, I documented everything. A lot of stuff has happened since the last vlog. Not gonna lie, I've been slacking with the vlogs, but behind the scenes I've been doing a lot of other work, so I kinda had to put the vlog aside, but I'm back. This is gonna be the last episode of season one, and season two is gonna be starting with the first episode with Open Air Fraunfeld. Like, I have so much to say, I feel like I'm just... Right now, it is Monday, July 3rd, 12-23. Open Air Fraunfeld is in like two days. Uh, it's like a three-day festival, so I'm gonna be vlogging that whole trip. And that will be the first episode of Season 2, The Journey to Open Air Fraunfeld. I have so much to tell you, but before I get into any of the things that have happened since the last vlog, I'm going to show you how I got here from New York, Brooklyn, all the way to Fortitellen, Switzerland. Roll that clip. Good morning, guys. Off to a little crazy start, as usual. Let's see, it's 1.58 right now. Uh, my flight is at 4.20, international flights, you should be there two to three hours before. So I should be there at least by 2.20, which is exactly 20 minutes from now. We're in the heart of Brooklyn, gotta get to JFK. Heading to Zurich, it's about to be a party. I'm really excited. I hope you enjoyed um, the vlog of New York City, or I don't even have a title for it yet, but last vlog. <laughs> I had a really good time making it. <clears throat> In this vlog, we're gonna be flying to Switzerland, meeting my family and all that. If you didn't see the last episode, make sure you go check it out, because this is kind of like a part, part one, part two. Look who made it to the car. Let's see, 212, getting there at 228, hopefully. If I miss this flight, it's because Tyler had to shave his pubes. <laughs> Thanks a lot, Tyler. <laughs> <laughs> Appreciate you, bro. No problem, bro. Have fun on your journey. Good yeah, luck moving you. to New York and everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, peace out. Let's do this. Got like ten minutes to get there. When I'm with you, I don't know. I just feel like I should go. It feel like my face is going up. You should know. Story loaded, all my diamonds coated, and my whip so cold. It's important, it's boring. Just like me, I'm far from home. I'm in a city I don't know, no, no. Damn, I feel so cold, cold, cold. Don't ever let go. Uh, I got about one more hour. I have two 
hour layover or something like that, maybe an hour. See you guys in France. Made it to my gate. Let's see what time it is. My, my clock still says it's 12.08, but it's definitely not. It's six hours, so 6.08. Flight leaves at 7.20 to Zurich. JFK was a little crazy. I don't like to vlog when there's a lot of people around. So something I didn't get on camera was, um, I, so I actually have my drone in this bag, and I go to check my bags. This is supposed to be a carry-on, and they told me, I can't bring drones. She was like, yeah, you have to mail it or you have to have someone pick it up, like you can't take it. I was like, damn, like I was freaking out. Obviously like drone is a big part of my life. So but, like she calls her supervisor over. I guess it was like 160 kilowatts or whatever, like up to that much you can have. I had like 98 or something. So they're like, okay, we'll let you slide. It's like, Made it to Zurich. My bags are here. I have too many bags to carry, only two hands. <laughs> <laughs> Look who it is, my lovely mama. So, what's up? <laughs> She's camera shy. 82.45. Kelly and from Myers. <laughs> you already know. We're gonna go surprise my little bro. We gotta be quiet though. One in, he knows we're coming. Last time I was surprised they were pretty cool. So with all that being said, I get to Switzerland, as you just saw, and a couple things happen from then to now. One of the main reasons why I stopped vlogging is because I was a little bit demotivated when I crashed my drone into the local river right across the street, the Rhine River. We were trying to take pictures underneath this bridge. I decided it would be a good idea to fly my drone underneath this bridge. I took off. I don't have it on film, unfortunately, and I wasn't filming. I didn't have the GPS set up to my phone. I was just like, in the moment, like, let's do it. I took off and it just like hit one of the posts on the bridge, boom, down into the water. I was pretty devastated. That just kind of made me not want to vlog because, you know, I like to incorporate drone shots into the vlog. But, you know, once that kind of settled, things started to look up. So after I wrecked my drone and like I was all sad, whatever, like that was gone, I set up my studio here. I, well, I already had that set up, but I started actually recording and using some of the techniques that I learned in the classes that I've been going to for uh, audio engineering. I've been pretty happy with the quality that I've been achieving, you know, with my mixing and using Pro Tools. I bought Pro Tools, I bought a bunch of plugins. Basically, I was like really happy with, uh, you know, some of the content that I've been able to put out, especially with my new laptop. And so I put out a song, Hold of Me. Oh, you 
should know it. My pistol reloaded. On top of that, I have there's my buddy DJ Patrick Noise. We met a while back in 2016. When I dropped nothing, he really liked it. Uh, he saw that, you know, a lot of people, that video kind of went viral. First of thousand, you know, it got like 30,000 views. And, you know, he's a DJ, so he was playing it in like clubs. So I was obviously like, we linked up and we're friends now. And he wanted to start, you know, doing some concerts. So obviously I'm down. That was my main plan, like from the get go. And everything just started to fall together. So he has connections with the clubs. We set up our first show, <laughs> which took place last Saturday, two weeks before I started hyping it up. I made like a little video um, hyping it up. We passed out flyers, you know, uh, all my, fr I told all my friends of Fuerta Talent, all my friends of and people from Stein and Wine, which is like another, man, it was a dream come true. The, the vlog not to forget it's really about the journey to open air Fraunfeld so nothing really between there was happening to get me towards open air Fraunfeld but the past like week or two weeks you know with the show and putting out that song I've really been steps toward open air Fraunfeld so that's why I'm just, I decided to do this vlog today again and get you guys up to date so next episode is gonna be at open air Fraunfeld at the festival you already know what it is, so like, that's what this whole vlog is really about. And uh, we're gonna be there, and we're gonna we're gonna turn up some more, and it's gonna be crazy. All my friends are gonna be there. You guys are gonna be there watching. So, with that being said, thank you for watching all ten episodes. This was season one of the journey to open up Fraunfeld. Next week's episode will be season two, episode one of the journey to open air Fraunfeld. Ho ho ho!